Welcome to Simply Fishing Extreme, brought to you by Evinroot E-Tech, spend more time on the water. Arden Reels, rule the water, made in the USA. Simply Fishing Extreme Marine, doing more than just keeping you afloat. Element 21 and the revolutionary carrot stick rods. Find Nissan of Maplewood, where elegance and dependability meet. Pose, maker of the Awaker, the Giant Jackpot, and the Havana Jack. I'm Bob Mesocomer, your host, and I'd personally like to welcome you to the first cast of the rest of your life. Your next monster is only one cast away. And by 18 Tackle, where Marabou and Mylar meet teeth. And now, let's meet the extreme team. Bill, Fonda, Jason, Uncle Buddy, Tracy, Chad, and Mike are the extreme team. Please sit back and enjoy this edition of Simply Fishing Extreme. If you remember last week, we left you with this. Well, some people Thermal would simply trickle. say surf's up. Bottom line is, we're still looking for 100 over 50. Fish. Big, big fish. I love that. She's under us and she's gonna be hot. She wanted it, huh? Yeah. It's Osborne Bay. It's been excellent. Uh, Randy did a great job. The guiding service. Uh, Randy started taking us out when I was 10. And we've been catching big muskies ever since. The accommodations here are fantastic. Check out Century Lodge on Osborne Bay. Come on, bring her back. There, on your left, you can almost see it. One of the most magnificent sights on the planet. Lake Athabasca nestled just below the 60th parallel. Lake Athabasca hasn't changed in nearly a thousand years with its pristine shorelines, pure crystal clear water you can actually drink, and countless fish. Boy has she got fish that is for everyone willing to travel to Other Side River Lodge. From the magnificent world class northern pike that prowl these waters to the oldest and biggest lakers on the globe, Athabasca has it all. Other Side River Lodge caters to the true sportsman seeking an all-American plan guided package with three incredible meals a day and memories you won't find anywhere else. Records have been broken by guests at Other Side River Lodge in the past. You could be next. Book your dream trip of a lifetime to Other Side River Lodge, where fishing dreams do come true. Call Cliff or Stella toll-free at 1-877-922-0957. That's that same bait you lost that fish up the lake on, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. These fish are entirely using the entire environmental spectrum right now. Finding them in the weeds, finding them in the rocks. And in both together, huh? Yeah, exactly. That's been quite a mixed bag. But this is a great combination with that marabou and the mylar. The way we build the bullets on them makes it possible. If you didn't have the bullets, you couldn't do this. The way we build these baits. That thing throws off quite a profile and vibration too. Yeah. A lot of times I look back and see your swirl. <laughs> yeah, you can Just... see the boil about three minutes after I take it out of the water. <laughs> yeah. Just trying to get way back in the pocket. And that's a bait you guys use a lot back in Ohio? Yeah, there's an older guy from uh, Elwood City, PA. Still was still making jerk baits at 94 years old before Are you he serious? passed. 94? 94 years old. Now I have a question, was he fishing too? 
He still was fishing. Good <laughs> Lord. Had to have short days, but he was still at it. Wow. Yeah, and they seem to work really well for us at home, just quick hopping them. You could really, you could jerk them about as hard as you possibly can, and they won't come out. So wait a minute, that means I can fish till 94. I might catch 100. <laughs> oh, I think you'll get to it before that. <laughs> Well, one of us are going to get bit. Ninety-four. Ninety-four. There we go. There we go. Yep. Mm-hmm. Stay with her. Stay with her. Oh, boy. That happened too quick. I say, is that a pikey pool? No, it's actually a decent fish, but it ain't hooked very well. Okie dokie. Don't let her shake. Not hooked very well. She hit it good. Well, you snuck her. She's a decent fish, too. She's long and skinny. Yeah, really. Well, oh. she hit good. Yeah. Hang on a minute. Now get your tools first. Get your tools. Got it. You need a cutters or? Uh, I don't think so. It's barely, barely in there. At least it was. Yeah. I felt the hit. Now that was more like she hit it solid. I mean, she pounded it, but just, uh, <laughs> I think she felt the mouthful of hooks and said, all right, I had enough of this game. I think you had her good though. Yeah. Is she free? Yep. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they like to get there. What's that hook? I see it. I'm just trying to get her off that. She's just hung up on the net. There we go. Okay, ready? Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, it's the, the old Ladiano comes through. <laughs> oh, old Ed passed away, so there's to you, Ed. There yeah, you he's go. a guy from back home. Yeah. Pretty fish. Sl yeah, skinny, but. Yeah, I don't know why. They she spun it. her wheels pretty quick, huh? <laughs> <She did. laughs> All right, let's get her back. Get her back. Good job, big guy. Oh. Slender, but she's definitely. I don't know. How long would you say? I don't know. Forty something. Oh yeah, definitely forty something. Yeah. Three or four. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Come on, girl. Hard to say because she's she's not carrying the weight. No. I think uh, she might be longer than I you think. I think she's ready. Yeah, you're right. She may be mid forty. Introducing the Hit Squad from 18 Tackle, featuring a full line of revolutionary new blade baits. The Aggressor X with its incredible Vortex, Avenger X featuring .061 wire and dual Vortex blades, and the all-new revolutionary Assassin X. Hit them where it hurts with blade baits from 18 Tackle, a revolutionary new concept in spinner baits and bucktails. Visit us at www.18tackle.com today and see the entire line. Order yours today and join the A-Team. Simply call 1-800-222-8775. Well, you know, Bob, you can't always select the fish you want to catch. <laughs> that may be true, Jody, but you can select the lake in which you fish them. Yes, you can. Got that one. All right. Yes, sir. Got that one. All right. Here's 
another 40 class fish, I think. Maybe not even 40. <clears throat> it's a fish. Yeah. It's a mad fish. I'd say. Yeah, she's 40. Am I right here? Yeah. Coming in the bag. Got her. She didn't like that. All right. But that one ate. Yes, it now, did. Ready for this? While I was watching that one eat, I watched another one tail right over there. I guess I'm putting on a jackpot. <laughs> Hey, that's nice after a... It's been a tough one. Rained and rained and rained. Uh, <laughs> Why don't you come on down in the seat? Okay. Well, now she's free. Goofy girl. If you'd have turned that way. <laughs> That was good to see. She definitely hit well. Yeah, she, she ate like she was supposed to. Sometimes that's all you can hope for. Especially with that cold wind at the back. Oh, it's cold coming down. Oh, she's a little 36. Pretty. Yeah. But she did eat it. She did, did, did. I want to get her back. Go for it. Huh. There you go, baby doll. There you go. Thank you. Oh, yes. <laughs> Did he smoke it? My goodness. I thought I saw a tail behind it just for a second. <laughs> Looks like a little better fish. I don't think so. No? I, I really don't. But boy, did he smoke it. Hooked in the beak. About the same, maybe a little better. Maybe a little bit. Coming around. And we, oh no. All right. Let me pop her off there real quick. They could be up on top of this. Well, this is fun. Yeah, and you know, all day long, we're sitting there doing what we needed to do. Staying cool. Just relaxing and getting ready. Unfortunately, How are you hooked? Well, she wasn't messing around either. She's hooked on the outside of the bag. They come out? Yep. Nice. Yep, she just didn't like it though. And then she's got it wrapped around her. Nice healthy fish, yeah. 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 Take the nap. Yeah, real nice. Wanna see her quick? I'm gonna get her back though. Pretty fish. It's Osborne Bay. It's been excellent. Uh, Randy did a great job. The guiding service. Uh, Randy started taking us out when I was 10. And we've been catching big muskies ever since. The accommodations here are fantastic. Check out Century Lodge on Osborne Bay. Come on, bring her back. Introducing the Hit Squad from 18 Tackle, featuring a full line of revolutionary new blade baits. The Aggressor X with its incredible Vortex, Avenger X featuring .061 wire and dual Vortex blades, and the all-new revolutionary Assassin X. Hit them where it hurts with blade baits from 18 Tackle, a revolutionary new concept in spinner baits and bucktails. Visit us at www.18tackle.com today and see the entire line. Order yours today and join the A-Team. Simply call 1-800-222-8775.
Bob Mesacoma here for Klein Nissan. Whether you're headed to the backcountry in search of your favorite fishing hole or cruising down the back roads taken in the scenery along the way, you can always depend on your Klein Nissan. Elegance and dependability don't stop because the blacktop does. Take your pride and joy to the water in a Klein Nissan. Give them a call at 651-379-4300 or visit them at KleinNissan.com. The only problem is, last couple of days I've been watching you. Because that jerkbait right there has been nuts. What is that? This is a squirrely Leo here. A squirrely Leo. See, you guys from, from out east, you got stuff I've never heard of. Yeah, I noticed that when I brought up some of those baits, the Ladiano, the squirrely Leo. They never heard of them. Know much of that. No, nope, I, don't, I don't know anything about them. But I'm seeing them work. Yeah, I figured I'd try this one out because we gave old young Victor there one to try out. Did a little <laughs> jerkbait 101 off the dock and he got himself his first 45 inch muskie last night. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yes, it was. Think he was hyped? I think so. I knew, I seen the dedication in his eye when he was standing off the dock. In the rain. In the pouring rain and wind. I said, you know what? Victor's going to come through with one tonight. You could tell when you pulled in, couldn't you? He was yeah. just standing on the dock just yeah. waiting. Yeah, he was wired up. That's good to see. If we don't see one here, we're going to go down that other big fish. Okay. But I want to work across this all the way from corner to corner. People make too much of a mistake. They come in and just bury the center of it and leave. Right. And it takes a few casting areas like this. Our barometer is not exactly a friend to us right now. It's rising. Winds are east northeast, probably at what, 15, 18 miles an I'd hour? I'd say, yeah, 15, 18. This is sweet right here. There was a fish in here, I think it was two years ago. This solid 54, maybe 55. And it would use the entire bay. And we got to be where we were passing that information among a couple of boats. Yep. And everybody could see it. Nobody ever got a hook in it. <laughs> Come up all over the place, huh? Just using the entire bay? Use the entire thing. If you'll note, there's no cabbage. Right. The only, the only vegetation there is outside the lily pads and the rice is some pond weed that's way, way back up in there. So these, these fish in this particular bay have a tendency to use the outside edge or close to it. At least they prey there. I mean, you may drag them out, but they will eat on the outside as opposed to having to get them way back inside. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. <clears throat> I'm going to put a blue and silver on. And I'm not talking about a giant jackpot. Going with the AK? Yeah, I'm going to go with an AK and just see if we can rattle the cage a little bit. Like I said, I don't particularly like the wind coming straight in. It is starting to blow big time. Yeah, it is. Hate to rush this, but, and I know that fish is here. Well, that thing flashes sweet in this water. The blue and silver? Yes. Oh, it's awesome. Come on, girls. You may just have to bring one of those back to Ohio with me. I got a hunch you're probably going to take a few of them. <laughs> huh? You're working that slower than yesterday. Yeah. 
I just figure with the temp drop, slow things down a hair and see if I can spark some interest. Well, we need this fish bad. Oh, oh. We'll, both, we'll both catch the same fish. Great minds think alike. <laughs> <laughs> We just don't want to give her that many chances to get away. She ain't getting away. If she eats, she's coming in the bag. None of this get off at the boat business? I've lost way too many. I'm, I'm really getting fed up with this stuff, man. <laughs> I that lost put, one. I'm uh, sorry? That puts pressure on me, too. Well, that's okay. You can handle it. <laughs> I lost one the other day. It had to be 40, 45 pounds. Ate me with less than three feet of line out. There was nothing I could do. I couldn't even get to the free spool. Yeah, that's the worst. When they're big and hit you on a short line, you like you say, all you could do is basically at that point hold on and hope for the best. Hold on. Yeah. But you're you know, and the and she didn't pull the hooks, I mean she pulled the hooks out. She didn't pull any hooks straight. Right. But she had so much power on her that and you're lightly hooked. It didn't get a good hook. If it got bone, she'd have come in the air and we'd have been dancing. Yeah, it's like you don't get the chance to do the rod leverage left or right when it's three feet right there. No. And it's a big fish especially. Game on, party over, that fast. Yeah, sometimes you can't appreciate their power until you see what big one. Because they go where they want to go. What is wind is brisk. Here we go. There she is. Oh, she's nice. It's 48. Huh? It's 48. That's got to be her. It's a 48. back here? Yeah, I'm going to try. Oh boy. Death roll, huh? Come on. Hold on, hold on. Stay down there. Okay, coming up. In the bag. Got her. She's ours. <laughs> <laughs> That's got to be her. Smokes, Rocky. It's a solid 48. I don't know if it's going to go much better than that. That's got to be the Before fish. <laughs> we left the dock yesterday. We closed the day yesterday afternoon with 77 degree water. If you look at the surf temp right now, 67. And when we came in the bay, 65, uh, 66.7 came across here. You pulled her up on that jerk bait too. That first one, what was that? Uh, Squirrely Leo. Squirrely Leo. And we came back in here across with an AK. And boom, this is a nice fish. This is a very, very nice fish. <laughs> We're gonna put a tape on her. Yep. Hang on out. I'm just coming up stuff. this way. She rolled, she spun, she did everything. <laughs> That's everything you want them to do. Boy, she she's did. pretty too, not a mark on her. The only thing she didn't do was jump. Yeah. That's, that hit at the boat side was awesome. Yeah, she come around there and I'll don't, don't don't follow up and not hit this thing now. <laughs> I got the tape in my hand. We're gonna find out. I don't think she is. I think she's a 48. That's awesome. That hit, man. You came around with that figure eight and she just opened those gills and I'm going to uh, clear my area here a little bit. She's not giving me her head. She's got the head of a 50. Yes, she does. Hold on, let me get one more. Get her? Got her. 
Okay, I'm gonna set her back. You need my help now? Get the net out of the way? To measure? If you want. Yep. Probably gonna need a hand. Take the tape. Go to her end of her snout. That's a scary place to be. That's okay. Get her straight. Got her. 49 and a half. <laughs> I knew she was up there. 49 and a half. Doug. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? She may have even been 50. No, nah, she's 49 and a half. Oh man, hey Century Lodge folks, giant muskies, we're still looking for that number 100 over 50. 49 and a half, he brought the fish up on a jerk bait. came back around on an AK. Blue and silver broke every rule in the color spectrum and boom, she ate it. Kevin's in the boat with me right now because of a letter that his fiance sent. Hey folks, thanks for watching this week. Remember, practice CPR, catch, photo, and release. Future fishing is in your hands. When you've got these giant fish, be cautious with them. Be careful, get your camera out, get your cutters, get all the tools ready. Slide them out of the water. You got about 60 seconds, maybe 90 in the outside, get the fish back in the water. That's key. We measured that fish in the water like it should be, not on a bump board. These fish do not belong on the boat, and they're not belong banging their heads on the carpet. Get them in the water, measure them in the water. 49 and a half. We're gonna see if we can get you another one. But if we don't, we'll see you next week. More simply fishing. Kevin, great job. <laughs> Kevin Goldberg, folks. Awesome. From uh, Youngstown, Ohio. <laughs>